Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today as a little bit of a follow up to my Black Friday wishlist video, which I will link up in the cards up here, I thought I'd actually share with you what I am buying because all the Black Friday sales have started already. I don't know about you, but I feel like they're getting earlier and earlier every single year. And one thing that I also noticed is that here in Australia, we have something called Click Frenzy, which happens around two weeks before Black Friday. So I know after speaking to some staff when I went in store after making a purchase that they mentioned that Click Frenzy was their big sale as opposed to a Black Friday sale, which they won't be doing. Uh, so with all that being said, um, I'm going to dive into it. So it's going to be a little bit of what I've already bought and then I'm also going to bring you online shopping with me so that I can make those other purchases which are on my wish list. And I want to start with the very first item that I purchased, which is new bed linen. So I talked about this before, but I mentioned that uh, both the linen on our bed in this bedroom here and also in our guest bedroom was in desperate need of being replaced so that was kind of the very top thing on the list that I wanted to pick up because I do find that sheets and especially good quality sheets can be very expensive so the ones that I ended up getting for our bedroom here and I will do some close-ups currently on the bed is the wash linen bedding from Adairs and I got it in just the white because I thought that would be simple very easy to clean and launder and when I put it on the bed, the first thing Luke said to me was just how soft it was and how we had to get another set. So <laughs> I feel like I'm onto a winner. Uh, from what I understand, it dares to two really big sales every year. So I might wait until the next sale to pick up a second set. But then for the spare room, I didn't end up getting the wash linen just because we don't have guests here all the time. So I wanted to get something that felt nice but that had a slightly lower price point. So I went for the stone washed cotton collection. Hopefully you can see that. So this has a really nice smooth texture to it. It kind of almost feels a little bit like the linen. It doesn't feel like typical Egyptian cotton sheets that I've had in the past. And I really like that it kind of feels very lived in. So I got the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and I also bought the pillowcase. I do kind of wish these all came as a set rather than separately, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm going to be popping this on the bed as my sister is going to be looking after our pets this weekend very kindly because we're going on a baby moon. <laughs> um, the next thing that I bought was from Marks and Spencer, and you may have heard me say that I was planning on buying baby onesies because uh, I wanted to just stock up on some classic ones. I wanted something that was organic cotton, but that wasn't too expensive, and M&S seemed to have a really good selection. I like the fact that you can just get a simple five pack and they're just all the same. So I grabbed a few things. I ended up just getting the short sleeved bodysuits. This is in the newborn size because I realized I've been doing a little bit of shopping for baby clothes already and I'm currently pre-washing a lot of the clothing. I'm getting really organized because we're finally, we've finally got the nursery uh, going. So I want to start filling up the drawers and um, yeah I realized I didn't need loads and because when the baby is due it will be summer it will still be hot around 30 degrees I thought short sleeve ones would be great for during the day I also bought some sleep suits and I thought these were really cute I think these are a really good gender neutral option so there's three on here these are the zero to three months I can't remember if I mentioned this but I got 30% off everything at M&S 40% off the Adidas bedding um so i just really like these i like the fact that they've got the poppers i know that a zipper is easier and i do have the bonds ones as well uh, and what i liked about these is that they do have the little gloves or the fold over sections on the sleeves which is really handy because newborns do have a tendency to scratch themselves so definitely something to keep in mind if you are shopping for your first baby as well but i just thought these were really really cute so those would be great to have and then i just thought because uh temperature wise i mean it's hard for me to know at this stage because it is my first baby how cold the baby will get what we're going to need so I just wanted to get my bases covered so what I did was I got some little boobies as well so that we can pop them on baby's feet so I just got these up to one month so these are sort of newborn size and then I also got zero to six months as well just some plain white ones I have bought socks as well and then I just thought I would get some of the mittens which you can get just separately you can put these on baby uh, when they're just wearing a regular onesie to help stop them scratching their face so that was what I picked up from M&S I will link everything down below and maybe a few of the other items that I saw on the website that I really liked. There's some really cute cotton sweaters actually. Then 
The third thing that I've already purchased was something I mentioned that I wasn't really sure if I should buy. And this one was really, uh, I would say, encouraged by my friend Nina. I bought these while I was home in Wellington. I wasn't expecting to make any purchases, actually, while I was home. <laughs> and there's a pair of shoes. They're from Saint Laurent, so you've probably got a good guess now as to what is in here. Now, one of the reasons why I had sort of said I was a bit hesitant to buy any shoes is because your feet can permanently go up the shoe size as a result of pregnancy. The reason for this is because your body produces a hormone called relaxin, which allows your hips to widen, but it also has the effect of making all your other ligaments a lot more, uh, I would say, relaxed. And with the added pressure, from baby, uh, your arch can drop and it can drop permanently. So that's why your feet do increase the size if that has happened to you, if you've already had a baby or if you kind of noticed that your feet have swollen but they've also gotten slightly longer. I have gotten some orthopedic sandals which I'm hoping will help with that but actually um, the good thing was when I, when I got these I was able to try on both my usual size and then also try it on the 41. And I found from a width perspective, because I had wide feet, the 41 was better anyway, and there wasn't too much extra space at the heel. So I thought it would be fine if my feet don't go up the size, but it will also be fine if they do. Now the color that I went for was a little bit unexpected for me. This was totally off script. I wasn't even expecting to get this color at all, but I tried them on and I just thought they looked really beautiful. So I went for this really lovely, it's called Latte, but it's kind of a, I would say, a creamy bone colored patent. Let me just grab the other one out. So that is what they look like. Uh, you will have seen these on my Insta stories if you follow me on Instagram, because I did show a little bit of a sneak peek of me trying them on, but they were really comfortable, like I said, width-wise, I'm really happy with them, and my feet were quite hot because we'd been walking around all morning, so I felt like that was a really good test in terms of making sure that they wouldn't be too narrow and that I would get blisters, that kind of thing. I got really lucky in terms of the price because they were discounted to almost 50% off, then I got an additional 10% off because I was effectively a tourist. So. It was an unbeatable price. I really love the color. I don't have any shoes in this color, and I figured they are a classic timeless staple. I've been wanting them for a couple of years, so why not treat myself? It's funny because now that I don't really fit any clothes, I've been looking loads at shoes and bags and just accessories in general because that's kind of the only thing that I can sort of fit. But I'm also conscious that shoes are not the best choice in case my feet go off a size. But I'm, I'm really glad with, about these because Regardless of what happens with my feet, they will continue to fit me. So those are the things that I bought already. Then I thought we should do a little bit of an online shop. So I'm going to put maybe on the right hand side of the screen here my web browser. And we can do a bit of shopping together. I can show you what I am going to be buying. I'm just going to raise my laptop over here on my lap. So yeah, I thought I would start with the Missima. And I had already kind of earmarked three pieces that I really loved when I did my wishlist video. However, I decided to just go have a little bit of a browse again on the website last night. And I spotted some other items which I think I like better. So this is kind of one of the reasons why I like to really sit on things because you can have a change of heart. And um, effectively I've decided I want to get a new bracelet because I really like the idea of layering my bra bracelets and I'd also like to get a really nice pair of chunky hoops. The ones I had originally seen that I liked were the Bayer hoops or Baja hoops, I'm not 100% sure how you would uh, pronounce that. And they have this sort of, I would say, uh, dimpled effect to them, but I've decided that I actually prefer either the gold chunky waffle hoops which have kind of an engraved effect in them crisscross effect or the gold chunky entwine hoops which i think are the ones that i prefer i just really love how 90s these feel they feel quite vintage and they aren't too bad in terms of the price so i think out of the two i'm definitely going to go with the entwine hoops and then I was looking at a chain bracelet. So the one I'd originally am at is the gold Axiom chain bracelet, which is really lovely. I mean, I, I quite adore that long chain uh, detail, the, or the link, should I say. I just think it's really unusual. But the other one that I saw was the T-bar chain bracelet. And what I liked about this was the square belcher style closure, which is really unusual. I haven't seen anything like that before. So I'm kind of tossing up between those two and I'm thinking maybe I will probably get the T-bar chain bracelet just because I feel like that is very similar to the styles that I already wear. I find them very easy to kind of put on my wrist myself as opposed to something that has a clasp. So those are the two pieces that I'm going to place an order for now from Missima. 
Next on the list is David Jones. So I got an email this morning saying that Black Friday had started and I was talking to Luke and saying, is there anything else that we need for the house which I haven't really thought about because you know we're planning the nursery and I am hoping to pick up a rug for the nursery um, if Templin wants to do any discounts or anything like that later on in the week. But I thought I would just ask him because he does all of the cooking and he reminded me that we needed a new frying pan. So I went on the David Jones website and actually found one which ticks all the boxes. So this is what it is. It's from Lodge, which I've never heard of them before, but it's a cast iron fry pan. It's half price and it's 30 centimeters. So it's, it's a little bit larger than the current fry pan that we've got. But I like that it's cast iron because it's going to be indestructible. Trust me, we lost all of our belongings that we left in New Zealand in a storage facility fire. And the only thing that survived was a Le Creuset cast iron pot. So I can tell you it is money well spent. And Luke quite often likes to make a uh, shakshuka, which is the eggs and tomato sauce. And you need to put your frying pan in the oven. So this will be a really good option. So I'm going to be adding this one to cart. It's the only kind of homeware item aside from what I've already gotten that I think we need. And the rug, which hopefully I'll be able to get on Friday. So that is number two for purchases. Then I had mentioned getting a new handbag, maybe, and it seems very excessive because I did just buy my baby bag, which if you haven't seen my unboxing on Instagram, I will link that down below. I did an IGTV just sharing my latest designer purchase. Um, but I did just want to have a quick little browse on matches and also on net porte as well. They're kind of my go-to and both of them have sales that have begun already. So essentially what I'm going to do is just have a little bit of a look through my wish list, see what's on sale and see if there's anything which I think maybe uh, is worth picking up. So if we have a look at matches, oh, I have to say, these Saint Laurent sandals, I tried these on in the black in Wellington, so I was tossing up between these uh, in the black. Um, or the new kids which I ended up with and these are really really lovely I do like the tan as well I think that's very nice tan tends to be or at least a brown leather tends to be a lot less contrasting against your skin tone uh, for the summer and I find it can be much more flattering than black uh, now <laughs> um, you may know this if you've been following me for a while but probably my favorite sweater in my wardrobe is my Joseph oversized Romic sweater now, I decided to take it to the dry cleaner because it had some marks on it and I thought best leave it to the professionals because they will be able to fix it. Wrong. <laughs> what happened was it, I got it back and it had more of a yellow tinge to it and it had shrunk all over. Still feels really soft but it's more of a shrunken fit now. It's not that oversized, really delicious, cozy fit that it was when I bought it. So I thought if I could find that sweater in my size and it's a decent price then I'm willing to reinvest in it again for next winter because it's my favorite sweater and I'm really really disappointed I am planning to buy I think it's the laundress does a um, a wool washing uh, soap and I'm going to try and soak it and then stretch the fabric out but I just haven't had an opportunity to do that yet to be honest I really don't love doing hand washing it's something I put off as much as possible but I thought I would try that but I figured in case that doesn't work backup option and I did find it on matches and they did have my size available a couple of days ago but they seem to have sold out so I have added this to one of my shop tag lists actually in case it comes back in stock. The only detail this doesn't have is that really beautiful uh, thick rib uh, detail down the sleeves and also down the back but otherwise it looks like it's the exact same fit and cut so that was a bit of a shame and I did notice they also had it on net porte as well. Um, just in case. Now, bag-wise, the bags that I was looking at, one, the Givenchy GD3. I would not be able to fit a book in here, but this has been on my wish list for a long time. I just think it's a really beautiful, stunning bag, and in the red, very striking. I don't really have, I don't have a single bag in this color, and I did used to have one. I gave it to my sister, and I kind of regret it. <laughs> so I really love that, and I was also looking at Balenciaga. Now, they have a couple of bags. This one's more of a logo. It's got the logo detail on the clasp, which I personally don't mind. It's a crocodile effect though, and I feel like I've got two croc effect bags, and I think that is already overboard. So I like the size of this though, it's really practical. So this I would definitely be able to fit a book into, which is kind of one of my number one uh, priorities when it came to investing in a second bag. I like the fact that it's not too big, and it's structured as well, it looks really smart, and it also has crossbody straps. So 
that's kind of one that I've been tossing up. This one here is $14.21, so it's still quite, I mean, it is expensive. Um, so I'm going to mull that over. I'd say the sale's going to be going for a while, so I will have a bit of time to decide. Then a few of my other picks were this necklace here. Let's see what else I've got on my wish list that is on sale at the moment. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to be on sale. You kind of see there are very specific brands that I tend to gravitate towards, so I really like the look of Ray. Now, the belt that I want from Roxanda is on sale. I've decided against buying it just because it'll be a while before I wear anything like this. When I'm nursing, I'm probably not going to be able to wear the styles of outfits that I sort of foresaw myself wearing a belt like this with. And I think someone actually linked me a more affordable one, which I need to go and look at. Uh, but <laughs> I did notice it was on sale. I just wish it had come in black because for me, that is just so classic. Um... You can kind of see my obsession with the GB3 because I've saved it in every single color. I really like that bag and I think if size wasn't an issue in terms of being able to fit a book in, that's definitely the one I would get. So yeah, um, as I mentioned, the new Pieds are on sale on matches, so worth having a look at. Uh, but yeah, those are, those are kind of my picks. This is a necklace though, so this is from a brand called Archevel Pampa. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it, but... I really like this. I think it's beautiful. It's so oversized and chunky and I love that sun on it. I just think it, I mean, it just screams happy summer. Uh, and the price of it's not too bad for costume jewelry, but I've already got the bracelet and the earrings, so I'm going to hold off there. Now, this dress I've loved for a long time. It's from a brand called Road. I've seen so many girls wearing this. I really like it in the black because simple. Uh, I can wear it in the winter too with some tights has that beautiful rope detailing on the belt and a really lovely kind of flippy hem but again I, this isn't going to work for me for a long time but a really gorgeous one if you're kind of looking for a dress like that then if we look on my net porte wish list this is going to be the last stop <laughs> um, I can see here, oh my gosh, that is such an affordable price for the Sophia, Sophia Webster's. I do find her shoes run half a size small on average, uh, but those are stunning. If I'm in need for a really fancy kind of heel, those are beautiful. Those would be really nice if you had a fancy event coming up. Love the detailing on that, the studs. Then what else? Okay. This Garni skirt, I tried this on in a Come Shopping Women video a little while ago and I really loved it. I do have a similar skirt from Staple the Label but it's more of an elasticated waistband. I prefer the fact that this one has a tie waist so you can sort of adjust it. But one thing I will say is that I've noticed with another tie, a skirt in a similar style that I've got like this is that you end up with slightly less fabric uh, in, in front of you because your bump's kind of taking over. So it can be a little bit indecent if you don't tie it properly. So I think I'm going to give this one a miss as well just because I do have something so similar and it would just be silly to have two of the same thing. I thought this dress from Hatch was really cute, really quite sweet in terms of maternity style but one that you can wear afterwards as well even when you're not pregnant. It's very summery. I do already have something like this but I did think it was just absolutely beautiful. It's quite Grecian which I like and the fabric also looks beautiful. Um, and yeah, I think that might be potentially everything that I had on my wish list that was on sale. So, oh, hello. There is more. <laughs> okay, so um, there are more sandals. As you can tell, I've got a real thing for low-heeled sandals. This top from Mayling Berger, or Mayling Berger, I really, really love. I will open that up so you can see. Uh, I've been thinking about getting this for quite some time now. Uh, this has a rib detail to it and it can be tied or at the waist or you can just leave it. I love this backless detail. I think it is so stunning. And I always feel like this could work for nursing. Um, and the matching skirt is lovely too. That is definitely one that is on my wish list and I have seen that on sale. So I feel like that would probably be the more practical option if I was going to get one of these two pieces. Yeah, that is kind of a look at everything that is on sale that is in my wish list and those were sort of the key pieces I think that caught my eye uh, but I think I'm just going to leave it with those other purchases I'm going to mull over whether or not I look at investing in a second designer handbag just because I did just buy one and I mean 
I really don't need a second one, it would more just be for a want. We've got quite a lot of expenses coming up with the baby, it's Christmas, so I think probably the better thing would be to just say no, put that money into my savings as opposed to spending it, really. Uh, it's funny how your priorities change when you buy a house, when you start a family, uh, just through the different phases of your life. But yeah, that is what I bought, what I'm buying right now for the Black Friday sales. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you ended up buying anything. As I mentioned before, I think if you are going to use the opportunity to get a discount on something, make sure it's something that you've had on your wish list, that you have really thought carefully about buying before you splurge because I think the allure of a sale can be so strong that you can get tempted into buying something that you maybe aren't going to love for years and years to come and my own strategy when it comes to tackling sales like this even the Boxing Day sales is to really think very carefully and be considered about what I spend my money on um, you can probably see that for me like I said I've got quite a lot of other priorities right now so I'm not really that focused on buying anything that is very fashion related because I've got more than enough and I can make do with what I have. So that is it from me today. Um, I will have all of the current sales that I think are worth having a look at or any discount codes that I've spotted down in the description box below if you would like to go and check any of them out. I will also be doing a blog post, I think that will be up already with all of the current sales on as well as um, sharing a post on Friday with all of the updated Black Friday deals and that kind of thing. So if you are planning on buying anything or kind of have something on your wish list that you would like to get a discount on, hopefully fingers crossed if it goes on sale, then you will be able to find all that information there. Anyway, that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this little bonus video this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday with a new one. See you then. Bye.